Hey. I'm trying to put you in your car seat, Vortex. I'm trying to be a good mommy, daddy. You seem to be failing right now. Well, because I've turned this, like, piece of electrical tape into a fucking wad of uselessness. And so, <laughs> it's not working. Whoa, shit. You know what is working, though? The marijuana. It's definitely working. Speaking of working, you should be working right now at your actual job. I'm not supposed to be there for like five more minutes. <laughs> yeah, dude, seriously. Like, I still haven't left the house yet. If that lets you know the state of apathy that we're in. <sighs> Everybody's fucking late, don't they? Yeah, everybody is late. So, fuck everybody, right? I mean, I was doing really good. And then you started smoking the reefer. Yep. That's exactly how that story played out. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I'm just observing the wall that I hit. Think about Trump building that wall. It's like, fuck that shit. And then I just smashed directly into my house. I didn't mean to. I really didn't. I was obviously like not paying attention. And you know, it's like that millisecond that you don't pay attention that you like, you know, do some shit like that, so. to like have fun. Do you guys know how to have fun? Have you guys ever had fun? <laughs> like I'm trying to recount like the last time that I actually had like literal fun. fun shooting these videos though that's the thing this is adult fun <laughs> now I think of adult fun like I think of adult fun like getting drunk <laughs> that's lame adult fun you know and it, it gets old after a while too you know like when you're a kid you just want to be an adult and then when you're an adult you just want to be a kid it's funny how shit works right Like you're never satisfied with anything. Everybody's a woman in some kind of way, you know. <laughs> Women are characteristically not satisfied with anything. I mean, that's why like women complain at restaurants. Not to say that men don't, but women women complain at restaurants more than men do. I've noticed that. Try to get on to me for a bunch of feminist bullshit. Try, just fucking try, bitches. Try. Because I've worked at a lot of restaurants, so I see how women behave. I study people, man. It's interesting. It's like every day is, is like going to school, only it's life. about this shit from time to time, you know. I think about it from time to 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 time. Uh, it's a pretty constant thing, pretty much. That's what the essence of that joke was. Uh, I 
I think about a lot of really deep, profound, you know, life-altering shit. I just ask a lot of questions, that's all, man. But people... People that, you know, I, I think that I, like, I open them up to a lot of that. But I think that their brain was already open before I came along. It's just I came and expanded it just a little bit more. <laughs> That's all that people really need to get along in this world. It's like if they just expand their own fucking thinking and, you know, just try asking a question or two just about their own particular view. Like, man, how did I get here? You guys know that song? <laughs> it's a song by the Talking Heads. It's probably the most popular song by the Talking Heads. Off of their album Remain in Light. It's called... Uh, how do I not... I don't remember the name of the song right now. It's totally up and over my head. You know, like whenever like you're trying to think of something, you can't think of it. It sucks because like I know the rest of the song. Letting the days go by, letting the water hold me down. Letting the days go by, water flowing underground. Uh. Oh my god. That's gonna kill you if you can't remember it though. I know, dude. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of that bass line. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. It's really simple bass line. You may find yourself living in a shutdown shack. You may find yourself in another part of the world. And you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. And you may find yourself in a beautiful house. In a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. And you may ask yourself, well, how did I get here? I like how he sounds like he's from another. Like I was trying to um, figure out where he was from. I'm like, oh, fucking Connecticut, apparently. I, th I think, I think it's New Connecticut or New Hampshire. Like one of those like, northeastern states with artsy fartsy he's definitely artsy fartsy but he's a lot smarter than that at the same time so go with him like love David Byrne he's really awesome but he does like sound like he's like I love how he sings like I love how there's just so much that he does with his voice I get that I get that I do that too any true artist any good artist does that shit they fucking transform themselves into like all these different things. Now a lot of people, you know, they would they would think that's boring or inconsistent or fucking obnoxious and, and you know, I'll admit sometimes it is. But I think it's really cool. I think it's really interesting. And innovative because it's like, you know, why not? Why not do all these weird things with your voice? I mean if if you have it you might as well use it. You might as well like expand, right? He's one of those bigger picture kind of artists, which is cool. Eventually they'll all like do something really cool with their lives and like do more. 
they're probably not. <laughs> they're probably not gonna do anything more than what they're doing now. Um, and that's, maybe I'm projecting that so I don't feel so bad, but I feel like it's okay for me to do drugs because not only do I work in two restaurants, one of them being a pizza place, the other one being a fucking uh, shit show all the fucking time, and everybody I work with is black or ex-black, so of course, of course I'd be smoking weed, uh, but it's also, you know, I'm an artist. I'm seeing that more and more, just like the way, in the way that I live my life. I'm like, well, I guess like being an artist, and like you can say like, oh, well, I'm a comedian or I'm, I'm a crazy person. It's like people don't fuck with you. <laughs> I've noticed that. It's really cool. And so, I'm trying to, I'm trying to live by this Thoreau quote. Go in the direction of your dreams. It's weird because. It's like, I've been doing that my entire life, but it's like that direction is directly back into my fucking head. And I guess that's kind of depressing. Cause it's like, I, I just realized, you know, like, man, I'm 33 years old. There are a lot of people I work with that are like considerably younger and they look considerably older. Like, there are these, there are these dudes, they're both gay. And like they're in a relationship. And they both look like they're a lot older than they are. Like one of them looks like he's in his fucking 40s. And he's 25. And he looks like that because I'm assuming he's done a lot of drugs. Because like his boyfriend was telling me that he's done a lot of drugs. And that's why he looks so damn old. But it's just funny. Like. He, look, he still looks like he's in his 30s, though. But, like, yeah, he... he you, can, you can definitely see, like, the meth face. He doesn't have good teeth, you know. Of course, I don't have good teeth either, but that's just because I don't, I don't administer proper dental hygiene. I brush my teeth, but I don't do it enough. I don't floss it up. I know. You don't have to fucking lecture me. Future dentists in the vortex. I know I know there have to be so many of you, right? Okay, what do I do? Just get in front of that motherfucker. You have no choice. You have no choice. Yeah, so I don't know what the hell I was talking about. Yeah, you do this, like, you just go off into these little, uh, head trips, you know? I'm going on a head trip right now just to my truck next to me. Like, if I just hear, like, weird noise or, like, I don't know, I see something funny, it's just, it's just like, I just think about it for a while, you know? Like, I'm pensive. I contemplate a lot of shit. It's, it's so weird that I guess people don't do that at all. Dip. This is like what all the cool kids. 
kids are doing. I'm like, no, it ain't. The cool kids are doing their own thing that like nobody even knows about because they ain't going They're not gonna talk about it. They're not gonna talk about it. They're they're not gonna promote it. Oh shit. If guy in front of me going slow, or is somebody in front of him going slow? Only time will tell. Oh, it's the person in front of him, apparently. Okay, we're fine. I'm not switching lanes yet. I'm staying right here. Right, you right now. <laughs> But it's still catchy though. That's like the 90s. <laughs> Annoying but still catchy. Does anybody miss the 90s? I do. I, I feel like that's bad. Like if you're missing the 90s, this is a sorry state of affairs. You know, like... Because the 90s, like, wasn't that fucking great. You know, I mean, it was pretty like blase. They had the Berlin Wall came down, right? Yeah, well, that Berlin Wall's still up. People don't understand, like, like communism is totally here. Like it's been here. Communism has been here for a while. Now we're not like communists, like we could be communists, but we're on our way. It's just like all this stuff, all this bad shit. It's like, dude, hello. <laughs> I can't believe that people don't know. I can't believe that it's like not noticeable. And once you look up like the tenets of communism and you look at like sort of their methods of like infiltrating that mindset into the, the culture. That's exactly what they've done in America through the media. Like, it, it's insane. But it's like, you know. One of the things I'd like to talk about in regards to libertarianism is just this idea that you can just do what you want to do. You know? That, I don't think a lot of libertarians are like individuals. I don't, I don't think that they're like in any way like interesting or like out there they're, they're not Amy Gross you know there's only one Amy Gross well, I'm sure there are more people like me out in the world they just don't make themselves known right people are afraid of what they don't understand that will always be the case which is why I do so much fucking research because I hate being afraid and I hate not understanding something so I do as much research as I possibly can so that I'm not uh, you know, stuck between a rock and a hard place, whatever, like, I don't, I don't know what's going on, because I didn't think to, like, open up a book, or, <laughs> shit, it's so easy now, you just go on the internet, now I have a laptop, that's right, a laptop, I, that's the, it's really the, like, the newest type of technology that I have in my house, uh, but, aside from the wireless internet, which is still really slow, <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it doesn't fucking work. You have to yell at it. <laughs> yeah, yelling at things usually does make them work. Isn't that crazy? I yell at, like, stoplights, and then they start working. I'm convinced that I just have the magic touch with my voice. That's it. That must be it. You ever looked at the person driving right next to you? It's really funny. Especially if they look back. Now this time this guy didn't look back, but it would be really funny if he had. <laughs> he looked like he was so into his driving. That's probably how I look some of the time. Probably not now though, because I, I seem to be distracted doing not. It sucks you can't smoke cigarettes anywhere. <laughs> Speaking of the vaping ban, isn't that crazy? <laughs> Honestly, you guys, no, this is just personal. This just gives me yet another reason to love Donald Trump. 
Cause like I hate vaping so fucking much. I hate it, hate it, hate it. I hate vaping more than you think you hate fascism, okay? Vaping is retarded. I'm so fucking glad that we have a president who cares. <laughs> blows their face off in an airport that's funny they did that they did that because of a vape pen that's like hilarious <laughs> I know I have a sixth sense of humor I love you George I love you so much I wish he were still alive though he would kill himself does anybody else agree on that like George Carlo would totally commit suicide right now if, if he were still alive. Just the direction that everything's going, uh, especially with, with language, political correctness. <laughs> you should say it that way, that would make it funny as fuck. Political correctness. <laughs> See, if you just like change things up, you get people to pay attention in a different way, get, get people to. All you have to do is just sort of twist the screw a little bit. You get people to think about things just, just slightly different, you know? And then you can expand their thinking even more. I'm not trying to change anybody. I'm not trying to make anybody, you know, vote for Trump. <laughs> we already got Tennessee. I, I know that. <laughs> There's nobody's mind I'm going to change in Tennessee. I mean, it, it's not really about him. This has nothing to do with Trump. This has to do with thinking for yourself, you know? Breaking out of the fucking box, that's all it's about. And there's so many of those, and not just political, but it's just like all this stuff with the mainstream, all the ways that they try to control everybody, the food, the fucking technology, politics, media. It's just, they just want you to fucking fail. Everybody should kill themselves, you know? That's, that seems logical people would want to commit suicide rather than you know be in this world right now <laughs> so that's why the suicide rate's going up that I can tell you that's what's happening you don't have to let me go thank you thank you thank you I love you so much thank you 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 I love you Oh my god, please calm the F down. Calm the F down! <laughs> That's a funny thing to say. Because everybody knows that you're, you want to say fuck, but you're saying F. It's lazy. It is lazy! It's only one syllable! Well, they do the same thing with the ad word! Nega, that one. <laughs> I hear that word so many times. Like every every day that I come into work. It's funny because like we listen to nothing but R and B here at Steak and Shake. But like pretty much everybody here is black. And if they're not black, they act black. They know all the words of black music. Um Do it. Do it, Infinity. It takes you Infinity to do anything. Oh, that was good timing. Yes, it was. Yay! I just saw a Don't Tread On Me license plate. <laughs> Juxtapose with an American flag! <laughs> it's just funny. Like, people like that are so predictable. But, like, honestly, though, I understand their way of thinking. Like way more than anybody else's way of thinking so you know I think it's stupid to take pride in your country but I, I also think it's stupid to like hate your country that doesn't make much sense either it just makes sense to be like informed about everything which is hard though especially considering the fact that from all different directions you're just gonna get biased opinions so unless you trust like a historian that's why I read that 800 page book on US history and I made sure it was by like 
a, a progressive person so that like I wouldn't be biased in my thinking about history um because you know I've, I've been reading a lot of books previously uh from a conservative perspective what how much time 25 minutes okay well I have to put in my 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 my, my boots <laughs> So funny, dude. So Sandra, that's my manager. She didn't text me back, so I see why she's not even here. So that comforts me a lot. You know Shay's gonna fucking yell at you. Shay's the big black bitch that yelled at me in that other video. So you may get your ass in here. That's how she talks. She's so fucking funny. She's also really annoying, but she's like that classic like black girl you know like that stereotypical i mean i think she's she's sweet she's really sweet she means well but she's just really loud and always uh gossiping and talking shit it's like i mean i don't like i said she means well though i don't think that she does it maliciously and i feel like that's a girl thing like there's this white girl that i work with that does the same fucking shit she's the one that taught me how to roll but it's like she's always talking about other people and so I don't know I mean I talk about people from time to time I'll admit that shit I will I will guilty is charged but um I'm gonna put on my fucking bow tie even though my manager's not here I feel like I should at least like I'm, a, I'm like 30 minutes late so I should at least be presentable when I walk in <laughs> did you even get the buttons right? Did I? No. <laughs> You're retarded. <laughs> you really are retarded, man. <laughs> yeah, I did this earlier when I was more baked than I am now. I promise. You guys didn't see me do this, did you? So there. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I think a lot of women want like validation and attention and I don't know if it's because they didn't get it from their parents um, or maybe they, they don't get it from their like lover, their significant other, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the fuck they are. Um, I don't know. It's like I get it from myself. Like, I've always been that way. Like, even when I've had, like, boyfriends, I just naturally, like, go there in my head. It's kind of cool, like, when you watch something happen from far away. You know, like, when you witness a moment that other people have, like, right now. Oh, another American flag. Without the don't tread on me license, it's not as good. <laughs> I just, I really like that don't tread on me shit. I feel the exact same way. I'm a snake. I'm a fucking snake. You get the fuck away from me in my lawn. The fact that people have to be that way, I mean, I just don't understand that. It's like, we shouldn't have to be that way. I am naturally just... There they go. There they go. Oh my god. There they go. <laughs> I bet you they were together. I bet you they ate together here. Aw, the trucks. The trucks with the American flags. <laughs> what do you think? They just saw each other's trucks and they're like, I think that we have a lot to talk about. I kind of wish I showed you guys, but I think you get the idea. You know what the Gaston flag looks like, right? Okay, well, uh, I'm pretty sure you know the stars and their stripes. Okay, good, good. I'm glad that you're educated. <laughs> you gotta go, man. I know. I'm so late. Okay, has anybody texted you? No, it's 524. <laughs> oh my god, that's a really good accent. 
I love that accent. It's fun. I I just think it's fun to pretend to be other people, you know, because it makes things more interesting. But um, I know that I'm an interesting person, regardless of you know all the different voices that I do. But you guys really hear it more than anybody else. This isn't another personality, by the way. It's just a different voice. I just switch it up, you know, to keep it, keep it fun, keep it light. I'm such a dark person, you know. I call myself Rain Cloud. So uh, I'll see you guys later. I really got to go to work. They're probably mad at me. I hate it when people are mad at me. I hate, I hate to disappoint people. You know, I was thinking about something yesterday, and I don't know if I said it, but I think that. Disappointment is just as traumatic as anything else. It just depends on how much weight you put on things. And if your weights are all screwy, then naturally everything's going to affect you more intensely. It's a lot of my life. The lot of your life. The lot. That's my lot in life. That's what I meant. That's your. That's. We're going to go inside. That's my lot in life. I think that's what I meant to say. But anyway, I'm going to go inside and do my job, hopefully. Pray for me. Goodbye. Love you.